Hey guys, it's me, Liberal Prince 47 and I'm here to give you the overview of what I think to be a vital uh, component in a uh, water cooling rig. Yeah, <laughs> water cooling build. Now, uh, you're probably thinking to yourself, component, what, there's four products on the bench right now. But um, these all do turn into one component and uh, the component I'm going to be overviewing today is uh, a quick disconnect. Now, um, I will show you the model uh, sometime dur during this video, but uh, just to get started, I'd like to say that... Um, the quick disconnects are from coolants, the coupling adapter is from coolants as well and uh, the the compression fitting is from bits power due to the fact that um, I prefer bits power for uh, compression fittings. Um, I'd just like to uh, say that, yeah, I'd just like to say that and I'd also like to say that this is the female one and it came with a rubber uh, covering for some reason. Uh, this is the male one, sorry, it came with a rubber covering. Uh, I have no idea, I think it was to uh, protect protect the uh, nozzle from getting dirty or damaged or something like that but yeah it's just quite plain and simple but uh, you have to fiddle around with um, th these quick disconnects due to the fact that coolants has some that are threaded and some that aren't threaded and the ones that aren't threaded, threaded they connect straight to, uh, to your tube and I didn't like that you know I didn't like uh, the quick disconnect connecting straight to my tube and they didn't have my tube length so um, my tube inner diameter and outer diameter so what I did was I got uh, a quick, I got a set of quick disconnects, and then um, I got them both threaded, and then and then I got a coupling adapter which um, uh, threads on one of the uh, quick disconnects, and then I got a compression fitting so that I can connect to, uh, to a tube, to uh, a plastic tube, without having to um, without having to connect it straight from the quick disconnect. So I can use a compression fitting instead of you know uh, using barbs. Uh, even though you know, um, even though the quick disconnects do come with uh, compression fittings, coolant, coolant, coolants does make them with uh, compression fittings. Um, uh, they, they didn't have my tube length, my tube size, my tube diameter, and uh, yeah. So I just decided to do that. Um, here is uh, the model number for the female one. So you can go have a look at that. So it is the three series. It's not the VL4N. Um, they didn't have any threaded G1 fourths inch. They had uh, three fourths, I think, or two fourths, or something like that. There's uh, the sparkle compression fitting. If you want to have a look at that, that's from Bits Power. Um, that's black sparkle, as you can see. Uh, it looks really, really nice. It goes with the the chrome sort of silverish finish on the quick disconnect. Um, here is uh, the the male model number, the tag for the male one. Uh, mail quick disconnect and here is the coupling uh, model number so yeah that's pretty much all you do and I felt like you know uh, I should show you YouTube YouTube viewers because um, in order to have a good water cooling rig and in order to drain your water cooling rig you, ha a rig, rig, you have to uh, be able to you know uh, have a quick disconnect and what quick disconnects do if you don't know what they do I should have said this first uh, they allow you to to um, to have a water cooling rig and then quickly pull this once you pull these apart uh, there's only I think about one or two drops it's I think three mils uh, three mils of uh, liquid that falls in your system and you can just catch it with your finger so that you don't um, damage any of your components so yeah you can do that on the fly like you turn off your computer and drain your system so it's that easy and then you can remove components I didn't want to get a lot of these because they're expensive but yeah I just thought I'd bring that to you guys uh, I'll bring you my opinion and um, you know if you really want a good water cooling rig go ahead and grab one of these people that don't they regret it because they have to um, yeah, they have to use clamps and stuff like that and it's just horrible. Get one of these guys. <laughs> Alright, see ya. Bye.